Okay, we're going to go through the real-time clock functionality on the PLCs. And the, the first thing to know there is that uh, while the PLCs will keep track of, of time for you and you can do comparisons against it, that sort of thing, uh, the PLCs themselves don't have, don't have a battery inside them. So uh, most of the time you want to you make sure that uh, y you've got the, uh, a battery somewhere in your, your power loop. So uh, an easy way to do that would be to just plug your power supply into an un uninterruptible power supply or um, a lot of times in mobile applications our customers will will be directly powering their their PLCs from a, uh, a battery something of that nature but uh, it's, it's not critical with with most functions but real-time clock if, if you were to lose power um, the the real-time clock would start over again so, so just be aware of that uh, I will now go ahead and create a new project and let the hardware uh, identify itself and uh, I happen to be using an Ace 11 here but in, any of the PLCs will behave the same way with this um, if you've got an older uh, if you've had your PLC for a while now you, you may need to upgrade the firmware and in the version of vBuilder but, but if you've recently purchased one from us uh, it should, should be available and if you do need to upgrade the firmware you can see right here uh, you go to this tab and it will it will direct you you can go to the link there and uh, uh, it'll bring you to velocio.net slash update um, where you can get the latest firmware uh, okay so I'm going to go ahead and go into the tools real-time clock and <coughs> the the quickest easiest way to set the the PLC's time is to just press this button right here and you can see the time here this is this is a live stream of, of the, the time from the PLC and you see it just changed and what this does is it matches up your PC's uh, time with, with the PLC's time. Uh, if for some reason you need to use maybe a different time zone than the one that's on your computer or wh whatever other reason you have to manually change it, you can do that here and you get it to where you want it and then you push this button and it'll 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 do exactly that. I'll, I'll do an example here. You can see it just updated it uh, but most of the time this button is great it'll just do what you need uh, after that we can go ahead and use it and you you use the timer slash clock button and you'll switch it over to real-time clock and we'll first go through the the read functionality I'm gonna create some new tags and I'm gonna make their names match what they represent but there's nothing special about them I could you know I could name the tag whatever uh, so we've created those and we will step through I'll go ahead and program run switch to debug and look at the values uh, okay it's, it's actually running right now um, if I reset let's see if I stopped and reset the values you'll see uh, initially there's zeros in all of the the tags and, and for each of these uh, types the year month day hour minute second and day of week they're all UI 8s is what we use as the data type um, but it, once you start this program uh, the you know all the data starts out as zero but if I step if I step one step uh, which would cause this this one function in our program to go once um, it's now read back the the time and it's put all the data into these variables and if we check out the uh, the, the real-time clock function here you can see that these all these all match up it correctly read the read the time uh, so so it's, it's pretty easy in that way and then you can go on and uh, when you're using this um, you use just standard comparisons against it so maybe maybe you want to do something every um, every Tuesday uh, so our days of the week they start at uh, 1 is Sunday 7 is Saturday so it's just 1 through 7 uh, so if we were talking about a uh, Tuesday that would be a 3 so we check if day of week was equal to 3 and then you could you could do something based on that that would be a, that'd be a thing you could do um, the clock uh, set is, is very similar uh, let's see 
you you typically use that if if you wanted to be able to set a time from an HMI, uh, something of that nature. Um, you could let your customers do that, or your users do that. Um, so it'd be set. And you see, the only thing that's not present there is day of week because that that's something that's just calculated. It's um, you, you don't have to tell it that. Uh, so you can you can hard you could put in you know hard coded numbers, um, but that would be a pretty rare situation. Normally you'd you'd create some tag and and place the data in there. But I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, okay, so that that's how you deal with uh, real-time clocks.